not ooh yeah, it's oh yeah. Right? Couldn't tell you. Hello, welcome back to You Mean the Movies. Tonight, we get a special request. Special request. Granddaddy the Dudester. Coming in hot. What are we watching? We're watching Eddie and the Cruisers. Classic. Here's what Dudester has to say. My selection this month is Eddie and the Cruisers. First, it is loosely based on The Doors, so any Jim Morrison reference is an inside joke. Second, this movie launched a bunch of 80s movie stars like Michael Perry, Joey Pants, Tom Berenger, and Ellen Barkin, who you might remember from Switch. I think Ellen Barkin is the only name that is familiar, but yeah. So there. All right. An 80s cult classic, Eddie and the Cruisers. Nice. I don't know almost anything about The Doors, so... I don't think I'll understand any of the Tom Jim Morrison references. Jim Morrison references. Yeah. There's two knobs in the doors. Good one. It's usually what I know. I'm an idiot. Well, thank you to the dude stir for selecting this. I think it's like a classic, right? Man, it's got a sequel. Like an 80s classic. It must have did pretty well. I've never seen it. Sweet. So it's the first time watch for both of us. All there right. should be some good uh, songs in it too, inspired by the doors. Sweet. Doorish. Right. Sure. Well, should we jump in and Adorable. meet Eddie and his cruisers? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe, come hang out with us for Eddie and the cruisers. Yeah, and if you want to be like Dudes and get your own special request, check our slot down below. At the, slot. Check it out. Our Patreon link down below. You also get early access, full company access to polls, help us people watch next. You never know, you might be able to snag one of those special request slots. Slots. <laughs> Let's watch Eddie and the Cruisers. He's so embarrassing. Right, I gotta yell at them. Jesus. I forgot to turn that up. God. <laughs> Fuck, I thought the lion was inside me. Only I could be inside of you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, so bad. How embarrassing. We're going to get copyright claims a lot for this one, huh? We have to mute everything. I'm you won't get to hear any of the music. I'm glad the title card slowed down so I can actually read it. <laughs> Is this song from this movie? I don't think I know this song. You don't, you've never heard this song? Yeah, on the dark side. Never heard it. I can't believe you've never heard this song before. Need to get you a tambourine. <laughs> <laughs> Your white girl dancing is horrible. It's not that. I mean, this was bad. I'm, I'm trying to play it up. It's not that bad. <laughs> I think my confidence has just really grown over the years. Maybe it is that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out I don't give a shit. Sally plays the bass. Wendell on sax. Kenny on drums. Guy on piano is Frank Ridgeway. He wrote all that lyrics. Called him the word man. I prefer key master for the master of pianos. Mm, good one. Wendell. That was August of 1963. Oh no. Murder mystery. Uh oh. No. Eddie's car went off the Raritan Bridge. Must have been a hell of an accident. Who says accident? You saying he was murdered? Could have been a suicide. What about the idea that Eddie is still alive? You mean Eddie lives? That's the name of the second movie. Spoilers. It says right there. I, I knew I shouldn't have put it up. You know where Eddie was coming from the night of the accident? He was coming from a recording studio where he just finished taping an album. I figured that the master had to be sitting in their vault. Someone checked them out on March 16, 1964. The day after Eddie supposedly died. 
Hmm. Oh, Tom Berger. Major League. Got it. I know him from nothing else, just Major League. Back on the charts again. Eddie and the cruisers doing wild. Is this Eddie? No. Oh. no. I think he's remembering something. I think you're right. Oh, he was working at the bar. Can I help you guys? <laughs> yeah. Tell Tony, Eddie and the cruisers are here. Are they early or late? Early? What size of shoe do you think she wears? Huh? What size shoe does Betty Lou wear? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Huh. You know, you gotta give me a little room so people know what I'm singing about. Yeah. I think he's right. I think it needs a Cesura. See? My way with a cesarean. That's a timely pause, a kind of a strategic silence. That's exactly right. That's why he became an English teacher. Because <laughs> he was a literature major. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what it was like to be a cruiser. Uh, Miss uh... Maggie. He was one of them after that, huh? The only surviving. He became the songwriter. Not yet he died, the cruisers died with him. Frank, what happened that last night at the recording studio? There's no way on earth I'd go into that with you. He was sleeping with his girl. Had he found out about it, got pissed. Drove away like a bat out of hell. Girl. Accidentally drove off the bridge. Oh no. Oh. It's been a long time, Doc. Get your hand, kid. So, uh, what's up? What? A ring? Asbury Park. W-R-A-G. So, what did you ask me down here for? What's so urgent? You talked to that chick from Media Magazine? Eddie's my ticket out. And yours. After Eddie died, man, I sold the rights all back to Lou Eisen, that bastard. Remember him? There's nothing I can do about that now. That was stupid. What is it? I was thinking about bringing the group back together. He's got this Eddie Wilson lookalike. No, he ain't half bad. Get some publicity, right clothes, open up the right joint at the right time, and frankly, we come back big. You have to call it Teddy and the Cruisers. Teddy and the Cruisers? Yeah. It's not actually Eddie. Well, maybe they're going to say it actually is Eddie, though. Hmm. He looks enough like him. That pure country thing going on here. You've seen pure country, right? George Strait. It's been a while. Like 20 years, but... He was for me when I got home last night. Looks like we got the same decorator, Doc. I got my place this morning. Looking for that album. Is it the media group? Um, looking for the unreleased album, right? Give me a break. What are they after? The tapes. Season it out. Where are the tapes? Hmm. Clearly not neither of their houses. The stuff we're doing now is like some of these bed sheets. Spread them out, soil them, ship them out to laundry, you know? That's the most you'll ever get out of me, word man. Ever. So he was basically just recruiting the band because he gave advice that one night. Looks like it. Good. 
Can I buy you a drink after the show? That looks nothing like Eddie. Are you serious? Looks just like him. <laughs> Look alike. This voice isn't great, but. They're listening to his voice, not the words. No, 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 no. Like this, like this. Relax. You up. say not bad. <laughs> He's a poet. He's got he, a softer, slower cadence, I guess. This is how you make a good song. the best part of that sax part. It's not ooh yeah, it's oh yeah! Right? Couldn't tell you. The original sound of the cruisers. And I'd like to take you on another little journey now. How many of you remember that old feeling? Sand in your shoes? His scarf is not good. The first time. How many of you remember that? I want to see a show of hands. Come on. <laughs> Slow dancing. Submarine races. Yeah. The hell's a submarine race? Where the lighter's at. Please don't go ten years. <laughs> it's his turn to riff, and it's so gentle and soft and tender. <laughs> tender years. He nailed that. The outro. It's supposed to be tender. He nailed it. You know, we're still together, him and me. And never a day passes that I don't think he's around somewhere. You know, hold up a match? <laughs> so uncomfortable. It's not like they're they're not like this. They're like, oh god, here, take this lighter. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Why are they all holding it out like this? It's so weird. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> I used to wonder about you. Yeah. yeah, I figured maybe you moved to California. You're writing for movies under an assumed name or something. Or, man, mm. I just got interviewed for television by Media Magazine. Did they ransack his place for the tapes too, you think? I don't know. You know what she really wanted to talk about? Eddie. Hmm. What'd you tell her? I told her I don't have a clue. For all I care, they could have gone down with Eddie. You understand? They find those tapes. What's in it for me, huh? Guys like you and me, they they strike oil under your garden. All you get is dead tomatoes. It's those darn record labels. Wonder what it might have been like if he was still around. They probably have a standing uh, gig at the Golden Nugget or something in Atlantic City or. Yeah. And some nights it's like Eddie's still alive. And I get mad at him all over again. I'm mad at him for living. And I'm mad at him for dying. Guess he thought Eddie had all the magic, huh? Apparently. Apparently everybody did. One night Doc was reading off a list of potential dates. And I heard him mention Benton College. My old school. <laughs> Nobody... Believe this? Oh, 
Hey, I didn't know we were going to summer camp. <laughs> South Philly was never like this. Come on, you guys, get off my back. Cricket. You gotta know what a crumpet is to understand cricket. Jeez. We ain't never played no finishing school like this. <laughs> we don't belong here. They're just a bunch of college kids, no better than you. Hey, I didn't say better. They know they, no, yeah, they know they went, he went there. These people, they're way behind you. I just see a bunch of stupid college kids drinking beer. Yeah, just a bunch of drunk idiots. What are you doing? Look at this. Huh? Uh, how are you? Okay. Hey, this is Frank Midway, my old roommate. You know who they got playing tonight at the, the dance? They got the cruisers. You know, the mean ass black group out of Newark, the cruisers. <laughs> Sometimes I think you're too good. How do you know I'm not? That is a huge bonfire. It's a good one. <laughs> uh oh. What about paradise? Oh, he's watching. Oh, well, it's awkward. I don't know if she's Eddie's girl. Show time yet? Just changing my other stuff. No. Oh, well, take a minute. I said no. You stay like that. Ooh. You got ivy walls, lecture halls, and you got the cruisers and the nasty stuff. When the lights go out and the clock winds down, better find me a woman and go downtown. No hand old baby who lip me tuck. I want a girl off the streets who knows how to. Truck? Totally. She's got to be able to truck. <laughs> <laughs> Whole 18 wheeler. I want to thank you people for making the scene. Show's just start now. I'm going to come clean. I'm drunk. Just go through a phase. Kenny Hopkins. Just go through a phase. And last but not least. Your favorite and mine, Joanne Carlino! Hey, Eddie! We got somebody! Who'd I forget? Piano, Bridgeway! Oh! Oh, yeah! I'm Piano! We got, uh, Toby Tyler! Stage name, show business, Nam de Plume! How's he gonna respond? Just takes it? Eddie is mad at him. The next day, I told him I was leaving and I'd take the bus back. And then he turned to me and he said, Word man, we need each other. Words and music. So you stayed. Did we uh, address the Joanne issue? <laughs> you don't really think Eddie's still alive, do you? I guess not. I want to get a hold of those tapes and play them on my show. Let's let them be heard, and let the people decide whether they're any good. Without Eddie, there wasn't any more music. Well, that's depressing. It's the day the music died. Mm. We each other. Remember Wendell dying? I remember. remember. Yeah, right. Heart attack, right? Man, you still don't know what went down there. What are you talking about? Where the hell have you been? Heart attack my ass! What are you, living in a cloud? How did Wendell die then? Drugs? Come on, Wendell, let's go. We gotta go, man. Wendell. Hey, Wendell. Drugs. He OD'd. <laughs> Sir, you're doing a fine job. It's just a little emotional. The other day, I buried one of my best friends. He was the best sax player I, I ever heard. 
And they tell me I got to come up here and entertain you people now. I don't think I'll be able to do that. away my tears how I wish you were near wow that was, that was good moving I'm so glad you called you know I wanted to so many times but <laughs> now you know this revival of our music I couldn't help oh, I'm glad you're here <laughs> <laughs> oh. How do you feel them playing our old songs on the radio again? I guess it's fun. But you know, the strangest things have been happening lately. I pick up the phone and someone plays 10 to years. Then they hang up. Oh, that's fucking creepy. There's gotta be those old tapes. Season in hell. Who has them? They didn't go after Sal's place, apparently. No, oh, we just... Didn't hear him say that. But. What the hell are you doing? There's nothing can't be fixed, am I right? And I expect something for my money. This is what I've been waiting a year for? A bunch of jerk-offs making weird sounds? You're not going to see a red penny. Easy, Eddie. No, hey, wait, come on, man. Come here. It doesn't get music. Making weird sounds. It's not, it's not the 50s anymore, man. Are you crazy? We had the money in our hands and you blew it. You blew it! Hey, I want something great. I want something that nobody's ever done before. It was you. We were doing good till you came along. And you got us all screwed up. With this powerful and beautiful lyrics. Yeah, he was the one Fuck that wrote Dark Side. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Pretty looped there. I was like, "This is weird." Come on, let's try. is it a time machine? Eddie didn't die. He just got he just got stuck in the future. <laughs> to where he was getting his musical ideas. If he comes back singing "Johnny Be Good," you know what's going on. <laughs> This movie took a weird turn. <laughs> it's just a junkyard. He actually believed that you could build a castle out of a bunch of junk. Well, he did. Creating our own incredible monument to nothing. Here's to nothing. So he's a little upset with how that went. But he said he drove off. I knew. I knew it then. There wasn't going to be any future. That's when he drove off there? In the morning, they told me Eddie was gone. They hadn't found his body. Now, whoever it is that's watching is looking to cash in on those tapes, but it is not Eddie. <sighs> Frank, I know where those tapes are. Drove back to Palace Depression. Take me there. The junkyard? Mm-hmm. You there? Yeah. Hold my hand. Watch Ed, he's just gonna be sitting there. Who are you? What the fuck is that? They walked away. They walked back in. Just get, taking a smoke break. Eddie lives. Think so? I don't know. Scotch tape. Nice.
There's the car. Hello. Damn it, who is this? I think it's the magazine. Just trying to mess with them? Yeah. Give us the tapes. It's Eddie. He's coming over. That's our signal. It means get ready. I... I have to go. He'll be here any minute. I gotta go. Oh, Frank, I'm sorry. Just gotta get ready. She's... She's in on it, in on it huh? Or she's gone cuckoo ka -choo. Well, don't leave. If she's crazy, she needs your help. And if Eddie's coming over, you might want to be there to see it. <laughs> I'm just going to hide. Watch from the barn. Who's it going to be? It's the Eddie look-alike. Doc. Oh, bitch. Hmm. You. You. Just trying to get the tapes. Think so? Yeah. Wouldn't ask. Why did you do this? He wants the money. What would you do if you had the tape stuck? I haven't made. But what? They're like, why the fuck not? <laughs> Go play them on your radio You're station. You're that desperate. <laughs> you took it to the bigs. Don't sell them to a label. Lose all your money. I'm gonna do this for all of us. I mean that. You better. You kind of have to redeem yourself after this. <laughs> You're freaking everybody out. And I'm gonna be coming out strong. Staying long. Talking loud. And drawing a crowd. Talking loud and drawing a crowd. Go get him, Doc! Let's go inside. Yeah, you already parked your car in the garage. I want to know what the hit was on that. Are they going to have a hit on that new album? The whole album's going to be a hit. Season in Hell is a total innovation for its time. It was a signal of greatness yet to come. Eddie Wilson was a step ahead of us, and I don't think we've caught up with him yet. For me, and for everyone who listens to music, Eddie Wilson lives. Oh, I just got chills. <laughs> <laughs> He's still alive. Ah, I got chills, chills, chills. It's just a movie, but... What has he been doing for the last 18 years? Working at an antique store or some shit like that, right? Joey Pants is Doc. Remember him from Sopranos? Mm -hmm. The Matrix? I remember him mostly from um, Baby's Day Out. Baby's Day Out. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Are you okay? I just did a little uh, sweatshirt string drumming. I, I, I saw. It was good. Sure. All right. Eddie and the Cruisers. I had no idea Dark Side was from that. I love that song. Yeah? I had never You've heard never that You've never heard Dark Side? No. I've heard it a lot of times now, though. I'm a fan. It was a good yeah. song. 
That was like a hit in the 80s. Yeah, probably. For sure. Right after this movie came out. <laughs> I had no idea. I was from a movie. I thought it was just a... The music was killer in yeah. this movie. Awesome. Really good. You're not going to be able to hear any of it because we're going to have to <laughs> mute all of it, but... <laughs> was it Betty Sue got a new pair of shoes? Yeah, that was like my least favorite. <laughs> the one they played the most, too. Because <laughs> Sal would not stop singing it. But, yeah. And I think the Fire song also... Was a radio hit. So, Dark Side was your your favorite song. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah. Uh, no, it wasn't my favorite. The uh, tender, tender, tender heart. Tender, tender heart. years. Tender years. That yeah, one that's was a good my one favorite. Yeah. I think that that I think that was another radio hit. I think Fire, Tender Years, and Dark Side were the three hits from this movie that actually got a lot of radio play. Yeah. And I, I still that. I feel like we've heard Dark Side. On the radio recently, like just driving I, in town. It doesn't mean that I know one it. Of those, I don't you know, feel like old, I've ever heard old it. Old school countdowns. Oh yeah, like a Rick D's. Yeah. Or Casey Kasem. Yeah. Rick D's. In the weekly top party. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. But yeah, you got the guy from uh, Major League in it. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Tom Berenger. Elm um, um, Barkin. Joey Pants from The Matrix. Good stuff. Yeah, it was really good. I liked it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, any other thoughts on this movie? Uh, just a interesting twist on a, like a musical, you know? Yeah. A little musical number. I really enjoyed that. So it was based on a book. So it's probably like a book okay. inspired, like somebody, you know, inspired by Jim Morrison's death. Mm-hmm. It's like, what if Jim Morrison didn't die and he faked his death? Right. Here's the story. Turns out lots of people died that way. Tupac. Yeah. Paul McCartney. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, McCartney. What? Yeah. You never heard of the conspiracy? I, just recently from you, yeah. <laughs> it's a fake Must Paul. It's a fake Paul. Totally. Fall. Fake Paul. But yeah. Well, anything else? Just thank you to the Deuster for picking this one. I'm glad yeah, glad we a, watched it. It was a good one. Not a ton of commentary to add to it because there was so, many, so much music. Yeah, a lot of music, but hey. But it was a great I'm, watch. I'm rocking out. Yeah. What should people comment on after Eddie and the Cruisers? What's your favorite song from this movie? Yeah, what's your favorite Eddie and the Cruiser song? Yeah. And what songs do you still hear on the radio today? Who's yeah, if you heard one movie? recently. Yeah. Right. Thanks for hanging out. Come yeah. back next week for a different movie. Yeah, and if you want to be like the dudes to get your own special request, check our Patreon link down below. You can also get early access, full income, and access to polls up as people watch next. Link's down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. Bye.